Good afternoon to all of you. Myself, Professor N. V. R. P. from S. N. D. College of Engineering and Research Center, Yola, working as a assistant professor in Electrical Engineering Department. So, in a previous video or previous lecture, we started a new course that is power quality. Uh, in that first, we studied that the definition of power quality. what is the effect of power quality what are the symptoms of power quality and power quality evaluation now in today's lecture we will start the next topic that is who is affected on of power quality next one is what is transient Transient is a where one most of the power quality issue. First, who is affected from the power quality? High cost facilities, that is semiconductor plants. In that, as the power quality issue is arises, then the then the semiconductor the operation, all the characteristics of semiconductor. Will be changes, and due to that, the operation will be mismatch. The pharmaceutical industry, again data center, this will be affected from the power quality issue. Second one is medium cost facility, that is automotive manufacturing, glass plant, plastics and chemical, and textile. Lost production, scrap, lost cost of restart, labor cost, equipment damage and repair, and other cost. This will be affected due to the poor power quality, due to the power quality issue or power poor power quality. Then this will be minimized or this will be a very serious issue. due to the power quality so next what transient what is the transient it is an event that is undesirable and momentary in nature and it is not continuously in the prior system this is only the the moment and it is a undesirable uh, undesirable issue again the definition of transistor that part of the change in a variable that disappears during transition from one steady state operating condition to another means some period in a some period that is from one steady state operating condition to another Means in that between two periods, there is a sub variable. There is a sub disappear occur in a variable. In a variable or the change in a variable means the disappear of the uh, means there is a changes in a waveform or in a or in a system. So. in a some period of time this is called as transient transient is also called as surge transient is also called as surge the type of transistor that is impulsive transistor and oscillatory transistor what is impulsive transistor transient an impulsive transient a sudden it is a sudden non power frequency change in steady state condition of voltage current or both that is unidirectional in polarity means it is a sudden change in voltage and current in the system sudden change in voltage and current in the steady state condition in a unidirectional polarity it is called as 
impulsive transient. For a, this is a one example. One point two into ten. One point two into fifty microsecond, two thousand volt impulsive transient nominally rises from zero to its peak value to of two thousand volt in one point two microsecond, and then decades to half its peak value in fifty microsecond. Means there is a for a time period from zero a variation in a wave form from zero to two thousand volt in one point two microsecond in one point my two microsecond and then decades to half its peak value in fifty microsecond means in Period that is 1.2 microsecond to 250 microsecond. Sudden change in voltage that is 2000 to 1000. That is half of the ticket. This is your impulsive transient. This is the wave form of the impulsive transition. That is suddenly change in the voltage up to that. Again change. Again. Increase and decrease. It is a suddenly change that is called as impulsive transient. Oscillatory transient. An oscillatory transient is a sudden non-power frequency change in the steady state condition of voltage and current, voltage and current, or both. That includes both positive and negative polarity values. In oscillatory transistor, the change in the value of voltage and current, change in the value of voltage and current suddenly change. But it, but in oscillatory transistor, includes both the polarity, both the polarity that is positive and negative polarity value. Next. Zero resonance transformer energization and capacitor band switching. It is the example of oscillatory transient. That is zero resonance transformer energization and capacitor band switching. Due to the capacitor band switching, suddenly change in the voltage. Suddenly increase the voltage. This is your Oscillatory transient by back to back capacitor increase decrease again. This will be increases the voltage and current increases the current and after that some time the current will be decreases and it will be stable. It will be stable. It is called as oscillatory transient. Again. Oscillatory transient caused by capacitor bank energization in that period only. In that period, in that period, as the capacitor bank is, this is the capacitor bank is on. Then the sorry, off. The the voltage will be decreases. If the capacitor bank is on, then it will be increases. As this is the change in the waveform due to the capacitor back energization, means energize and deenergization of capacitor back. Due to this, the oscillatory transient occurs in the system. Next one is oscillatory transient caused by zero resonance of transformer. This is your variation of in uh, in your form variation in a your form due to the zero zero resonance of transformer. Again, oscillatory transient are divided into number of types. 
again classified into number of types. First one is high frequency oxidative transient, having frequency greater than 500 kilohertz. The medium frequency oscillatory transient, that is the having frequency in between 5 to 500 kilohertz, and low frequency oscillatory transient having primary frequency less than 5 kilo. This is your transient and types of transient, impulsive and oscillatory transient. It is the what, transient, it is a sudden change in voltage or current in the system due to the unnecessary operation. Again, it will be classified into two types, first impulsive and oscillatory transient. In impulsive transient, sudden change in voltage or current, but in only one direction. And in oscillatory transient, the sudden change in quantity, voltage and current in both the directions. So this is your tangent. In next lecture, we will uh, study the next issue of the power. Tool. So thank you.